Welcome to the World Tarot. This is a series Divine Feminine Diaries for the 26th of April 2022. Holy Spirit, show me the Divine Feminines who need to hear these messages today. Not, not half the deck. <laughs> Look, Six of Cups. Could be a Scorpio. You could be getting a love offer today. Let's see. Show me the Divine Feminines or you could be stuck in the past. Hope not. Three of Wands, you're manifesting something. You're sitting pretty and manifesting something. Your empress energy here. What? Okay, you're manifesting somebody from the past, though. That's what I or or a soulmate. It could be a soulmate too. So who are you manifesting exactly? Who are you manifesting? Eight of Wands, but it it kind of flipped in the reverse. But I'm putting it in the upright. You're manifesting communication, possibly from a fire sign. Forty eight could be significant. Somebody could be forty eight years old here. Eighth of March, that's in Pisces season. Third of August, that's Virgo. Virgo and Pisces are opposites, so you could be manifesting your divine masculine. Your opposite, right? Eight of Cups. Eight eight could be significant i keep seeing eight eight lately in readings so that could be significant for you. you somebody could be born in 88 or something about the 8th of august that's in leo season could be significant leo pisces virgo scorpio aries sagittarius that's what i'm picking up right now but with the eight eight is like infinity means you're both yeah you have a never-ending story with somebody here. Somebody who could have walked away from you. So this this Aries or whatever else they are. This man. Yeah, because this is Aries energy. So Mars, a man. There's a man who walked away from you. A man who has many options. But you're still uh, manifesting this man. You're manifesting communication from this man. Whoever you are. 59 could also be significant. Maybe the man is 59 or something about 95, but it came out as 59. 5th of September again is in Virgo season. 9th of May, that's Taurus. So this could be an earth sign too. Okay, 5 of Pentacles, 9 of Pentacles. This person could be doing very well financially, but this this is somebody who left you out in the cold. Um, Yeah, I don't think this person is interested in you anymore, but you're still manifesting them. King of Wands. You might find this person very attractive. This person could also be famous, rich and famous, or very popular and rich. Four of Wands. This is somebody you truly feel this is your counterpart, right? Your masculine, three of cups. You want a reunion with your masculine. So this is a very different energy to the one I was picking up yesterday for Divine Feminine. Because this Divine Feminine seems to be still stuck in the past. Very much stuck on their um, masculine. So this is a different timeline here. We've got Queen of Swords here. Okay, so she feels very scorned. This Feminine feels very scorned. There could also be somebody that they considered a karmic to be involved. But whoever this karmic is... I don't think they're even involved with this masculine anymore. I'm not sure. Four of Cups. There's This feminine feels rejected. 34 could also be significant. This feminine felt really rejected by this man. And yeah, this man basically ghosted this feminine. And left her out in, in the cold, feeling sad, feeling suffering, burdened. Maybe even pregnant. This man could have left this woman pregnant. This could this man could have left several women pregnant actually. Is this feminine pregnant? Is this divine feminine actually pregnant by this guy who, who is treating her this way? Is this feminine pregnant? Seven of Swords, Queen of Wands. This talks about cheating or stealing something. Queen of Wands. Oh my god. Uh this reading is again for the woman, uh for the reader who watches this channel who's with that uh, coven. The coven leader. she uh, It's like I'm picking up. I did another reading for today. And it seems to be for her. This one seems to be for her too. I don't know why I keep picking up her energy. She's probably throwing a lot of uh, spells at my way. And that's why. Six of pentacles. She is a divine feminine though. That's that's the, the saddest part. That this is indeed a divine feminine who's doing this shit. That's why she's coming up in a divine feminine reading. She's actually a Divine Feminine. I'm not shitting you. Six of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. Yeah. 
This woman is in a coven kissing a man's feet. And this man is a piece of shit. And I made a rhyme. There you go. Free of swords heartbreak. He's a heartbreaker, yeah. Whatever, he's got money. King of Swords, King of Pentacles. The mastermind has got money. He's such a mastermind that I can figure out every move, though. Whatever, never mind. Yes, it's true. Okay, so what can we do for this woman? How do we get this woman out of where she is? Because clearly this woman is in an abusive relationship, situationship, coven. How do we get Kimmy Schmidt out of uh, Knight of Wands? She needs to move her own ass and get out of there and go to her dad, like I was saying in the other reading. Yes. Five of Swords, defeat, admit defeat. Let the, the, the narcissist behind, King of Swords, and go to your dad and ask for help. The king, your little king. King what? King what? Ah, why doesn't it focus? What do you see there on the drawing? <sighs> Six of Cups reversed. Okay, so uh, maybe you don't want to go to your father because he was abusive to you as a child. Well, this man's abusive to you now. King of Pentacles. Yeah, you found another daddy, dear. You're repeating the karmic cycle with this uh, crazy coven leader, yeah? Queen of Wands, get out. Do not repeat the cycle. Yes. Okay, that's your message. Yes. 11, 1, 1, 1. New beginning. You need to break free from this. All the aces. Look, all the aces here on top of each other. You could have thought that this man is, is a meal ticket for you. Is a, you caught God by the foot. 69 or 96 could be significant. 96 was coming up in the other reading too. Maybe this woman has some trauma from 1996 that she needs to address. King of Cups with her father. This is her though. This woman's a psychic, is an intuitive, is very... Um, understands what I'm talking about and uh, she knows how to heal herself if she wants to. This woman can heal herself. But she's trapped. Look, Eight of Swords, she's trapped. Trapped in her head, trapped in a karmic cycle, trapped with a freak. Uh, is anyone? Can anyone help this woman? Is anyone who watches this reading? Can can anyone who watches this reading help this woman, please? Yes. A po a police officer. There could be a police officer who's watching. Is a police officer watching this reading? Four of Pentacles. 47, maybe he's 47. The guy who's watching the police officer could be 47, because 47 came up in the other reading too. So how can he wa how can he help? Nine of Wands. Maybe he's from the Special Victims Unit. I don't know. We're doing Law and Order Special Victims Unit here. Two of Cups. This could be somebody who, okay, Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. This could actually be uh, somebody who is a part of her family or her soul family. Is this man a, a soul family of this woman? Yes, I think so. But there's a blockage here. There's They don't communicate. 222 two, two could be significant. 22nd of February could be significant for somebody. Yes, King of Swords, Nine of Cups. This woman could be a Pisces. Seven of Wands, Sagittarius. Okay, so somebody um, who is an authority figure is watching this reading. And this woman could be helped by this authority figure who may be her soul family. Or it could actually be her family member. So she needs to ask for help somehow. I don't know. She needs to give some kind of sign that she needs help. Of course, if she watches, she probably has a phone. If she has a phone, uh, she can use it for that. Right? If she has a channel of her own, she could put a video on her channel for help. I don't know. What advice do we have for this woman? 
Queen of Wands. She needs to stand in her power. She needs to break free from where she is. She shouldn't be the Queen of Wands reverse. She should be the Queen of Wands in the upright. Queen of Cups. Okay, this person... Okay, this is a woman who could be on the cusp of uh, Pisces and Aries. Also, I don't know. Or it's a witch who is very intuitive. Four of Swords reversed. But she's very restless. She's unhealed. Six of Cups reversed. She's stuck in flashbacks. Emotional flashbacks from her childhood. That's why she ended up in the situation that she's in right now. She needs to go and resolve her situation with her father. Talk to your father. Talk to your family. Resolve this. Somehow. My head is starting to hurt, so they're attacking me. They're attacking my crown chakra now. Four of Cups. Oh well, that doesn't mean I'm going to give up. Because apparently, no matter what they throw at me, I'm still here. I'm still fine. I'm not even tired. Not even tired doing this reading. Ha ha ha. Anything else? Another four. Another The fours keep coming out. Go to your father. 46, 46. There's something about 46 that's significant. Or 64. Yes, yes it is. I don't know how it is, but uh, they know how. So they need to heed uh, the warning here. <sighs> Anything else? Because I'm just wasting my time with this crap. There is something else. Ace of Cups. Um, what's with Ace of Cups? Is this about the disease or whatever? Knight of Cups. She needs to apologize, I think, or she needs to talk to her father. Yeah, I don't know if she needs to apologize or not, but uh, she needs help for her Ten of Swords. What's with the Ten of Swords? What's the Ten of Swords, please? Ten of Cups. Ten King of Swords. Has her father passed away? 8-8 eight, eight again. Oh my god, what's with the 8-8? Eight, eight? I think so. I think her father passed away, she, so she needs to talk to his ghost or something. Wow. Has her father passed away? Let's clarify one more time. 7 of Cups, ten of, King of Wands. I'm not sure about that. Nine of Swords. Eighty-seven could be significant. Um, is King of Wands her father? Yes, King of Wands is her father. Could be a Leo or any fire sign. Okay, so is there a message from her father, whether he's deceased or not? Is there a message here for, from her father? King of Pentacles. Well, he's watching her. Nine of Wands. He's watching her being hurt. She, uh, he could be... Um, I think she's hurt by this full uh, fire air sign, whatever they are here. I was saying Gemini, um, Aries, Sagittarius or Aquarius. So she can... Yes. Her father sees how she's being abused by this dude. Two of Pentacles. The guy is off his rocker. The Two of Pentacles reversed. The guy is mentally unstable that she's with right now. And her father's watching what's happening to her. So her father is telling her to get the hell out of there. Even if he's, even if he's not there physically, he wants her to know that uh, she needs to go. Yes. Three of Cups. So she's in the coven there. She's doing all the debauchery here. And uh, her father wants her to be free. Eight of swords. She's trapped. Five of swords. <sighs> she's trapped with a narcissist. There you go. 85 could be significant. The woman could be born in 85 or in 87 or something like that. Six of pentacles. She's, uh, yeah, she's at this guy's uh, beck and call. She's, her father can see what you're doing to the, okay. So think about that. 
Five of Cups, Seven of Wands. He wants to, to protect you. He wants you to get out of there. He keeps begging you to get out of there, okay? Your father's ghost is watching you. And how you're being uh, treated like a dog by that uh, bastard that you are stuck with. King of Swords reversed, the psychopath. 35, this woman could be 35. Five of Pentacles reversed. Three of Pentacles reversed. Three of Wands reversed. So whatever she manifested was bullshit. And I've been warning people to be careful what shit they manifest. Plenty of times, but nobody's listening. Uh, anyway, whatever. This woman needs to get out in the night whenever this this guy's not paying attention. She needs to run. Even if she just runs out with the clothes on her back, she needs to get the hell out of there now. That's what her father's saying. Oh, God. This turned to shit again, too. Yeah, because they uh, hijacked the reading, too, again. But this woman needs this warning. Her father is trying to intervene here. I don't think I'm going to post the other reading anymore, actually, because it might be confusing, because I thought her father was alive in that reading, I wasn't, I didn't, although I kind of was thinking maybe he's dead, but uh, uh, I assume that he's alive, I don't know, anyway, that's the message.